Hello class, I want to believe that you've learned a whole lot in our English series. And today we're going to be taking it a step further with vowel sounds. So let's talk about vowels. What are vowels? A vowel sound is simply that sound produced freely from the mouth because of the vibration of the vocal cords. So you remember that your vocal cords are actually a fold of tissue located in your throat. So when air passes through it, it vibrates and produces sound. The vocal cord enables the air stream, that is the air from the lungs, to move freely to the mouth without any obstruction. All vowels are oral sounds because they are produced through the mouth. So when air moves freely without obstruction from the lungs to the mouth, the vowel sound is created. So here are some tips on vowels that you like to know. Written English has 26 alphabet. Of these 26 letters, 20 are proper consonants and 5 are proper vowels. The five proper vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Also note that vowels are one of the two principal classes of speech sound. The other being the consonant. Vowels vary in quality, in loudness and also in quantity. quantity. Standard spoken English has approximately 14 distinct vowel sounds. So depending on who is speaking, depending on the dialect or depending on the region where the person is from, the number could actually increase. In the English language, each vowel can be pronounced in many ways, but the two most common variations are the long and the short. These pronunciations are often denoted by typographical signs. So you usually have a chord symbol above a vowel which represents the short pronunciation and you have a short dash a horizontal line above the vowel to signify the long pronunciation but also in some cases you could have a colon by the side of the letter to mean long pronunciation so just in case you see that Please also know that they are the same. Vowels that have long pronunciations are most often modified by a secondary vowel that's generally silent. So in words such as late and tune, the E, which is added at the end, is used to modify the main vowel sound. So in late, for instance, the A is modified by the E at the end. To make the A a bit longer. So in words such as goat and beat, the modifying vowel is the A. So you can help identify the modifying vowel in several other words. It's words such as night, night, flight, and right. The long vowel I is modified by the GH. So please take note of that. Very important. Now let's have a look at several sentences where the short and the long vowel pronunciations have been used. For the A sound we have my heart sat on the mat. So hat sat mat or have the short vowel pronunciation. So take note of that. He ate the date on my plate. Ate date plate or have the long pronunciation. Then we go to the E sound. She let her pet get wet. Let pet get wet. You can notice the little cob at the top of the vowel sound which signifies the short vowel pronunciation. His feet beat a neat retreat. Feet, beat, neat, retreat, or contain the long vowel pronunciation. 
Spit out that pit and I quit. Spit, hit, quit. You can see that they contain the short high sound. Well, the sight of the bite from the mite was red. So sight, bite, mite, which contain the I sound, all have a long I sound. Proceeding, we have that spot on the pots got rot. That spot on the pots got rot. Spot, pot, got, rot. All have the short vowel sound. I wrote the quote on the note. Wrote, quote, and note possess the long O sound. So you can see the E at the end actually makes the vowel sound a bit longer. He cut the knot with a knife from his heart. Knot, cut, hot. Or have the short vowel sound. The mood on his lute was acute. Lute, mute, acute. Or possess the long sound. So here are examples of vowels and their variations. We have the long I sound. We have the short I sound. We have the long e the short e the long r the short r sound and so on and so forth we have the ow sound the o sound the o sound the u sound several of them with examples accompanying them you can look at these examples and also make up a list of words that can fit in so here's an exercise for you to do. First, list four words containing the following monotongs. So you have four vowels that have been listed. Just list four words each containing the sounds. And number two, name the vowels underlined in the following words. So you have a list of words from A to O. Very simple. I wish you the best of luck. See you in the next class.